Hello everybody, this is Dino Don again. Um, been getting some questions on YouTube about my videos and such. So I'm going to try and answer a few questions with this uh, experiment here. Uh, everything is still pretty much the same. Same power supply, scope shot, frequency generator. Uh, one exception here is my primary secondary coils. I separated them from the choke coils. Uh, I'll go into that a little later. But uh, what I want to show here on this is uh, how to find resonance. <clears throat> now, it's probably almost impossible to find resonance if you don't have a scope. Uh, there is another way. Uh, it involves a fluorescent light or a, uh, what is those called? One of them, little high power light bulbs. But generally, okay, what I've got here. I've got the scale still set at my 2 volts per division uh, and uh, I'll turn on my frequency generator and I've got the frequency set clear down to about 300 Hertz so that's kind of the signal we're looking at right now not much there it's very hard to see that we're getting anything to the cell so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the voltage selectors way down till I see a signal okay there's a signal and what we're seeing here is this is the on pulse and then this is the ringing happening in the coils and then it turns off and then you see the ringing in the off pulse and then it repeats if you keep looking you'll see multiple on off pulses so the pulse turns on, rings, turns off, rings remember our center line okay <clears throat> now what we're going to do is to find resonance basically this ringing that you see here that is the resonant frequency we're looking for so as we turn the volt, turn our uh, frequency up, you'll see them getting smaller and smaller and smaller, shorter and shorter and shorter. You get to that. <clears throat> okay, that's as high as I can go. That's around 1500 hertz. Turn it back down. Select the next higher frequency range, and we're just going to keep turning the frequency up. And as you notice, these pulses get shorter and shorter and shorter. The ringing, that means we're getting closer and closer to the resonance frequency. See, as our voltage is actually starting to climb now. And we're still not there yet. Closer and closer. Let's select the thing here to see them a little better. Now you can see we've got one, two, three, four pulses, five, and then they repeat. On, off. This is the on pulse. This is the off pulse time, on pulse. So we're getting closer and closer as we keep going. So now we've got down to three pulses. As we keep turning the frequency up, we're gonna it'll go from three to two to one. And when we get to one, that's resonance. A little farther. So now we're getting to a point where our voltages keeps going up and up. Now we're down to about two pulses. That's as far as my generator goes. So turn back down, select the next higher frequency, and keep going. Our voltage keeps wanting to attenuate. Now we're down to about two pulses, so we're very, very close to resonance. Again, we're going out of the range of the scope. And a little more. There it comes right there. No, nope, I gotta go back one, I gotta go one more higher on the frequency, and this should do it. And then off the scale she goes keep bringing down the frequency, our voltage levels. So right now we're at uh, a scale of 1 times 100. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 600 volts right there. Now that voltage is, <clears throat> is pretty much uh, the AC sine wave that we're normally seeing. But that's where resonance is. So without a scope it's kind of tough to find, but that's what we're looking for. Remember, so now we're this cell, this coil, actually resonates right around 20,000 hertz, give or take. You can see it's still no, no water there because it's pretty much an AC signal. The probes are hooked up the same way to the positive side of the cell, back to our ground connection between the secondary and the negative choke. Okay, now back to this idea, this thing here. What I found out that is if the chokes are on the primary core, it still does exactly the it will give us, uh, we can find resonance just like before. And by separating them, we can still hit the same resonance without any voltage loss. So by doing this, it will allow me to, 
to wind bigger cores, coils to put on the core to try and get the voltages higher. Okay, and then another thing I found, if we're looking at the scope, we got basically one, two, three, four, five hundred volts right now. Coil orientation on the core is critical. Now if we just take this core coil, turn it over, so now they're in an opposing forces to each other. If I retune back into free resonance, now look at our peak voltage. We're less than 200 volts just by flipping that coil over. So in your experiments, don't be afraid to switch coils around like so. And this should take us back to our 500 volts again. And there she is. And actually, we're even a little better yet. So, also, if we take just a little bit of magnetic, there's not a whole lot of magnetic field holding these cores together either when we do this. So they, the cores pull apart fairly easy on the choke side. But if we go to the primary side, they won't come apart because the magnetic field is stronger in this coil. Okay, now I switch the chokes from one side to the other, we'll tweak into frequency, and we're actually, you know, a little better yet on voltage that way. Now if I go back here again and just turn one of these over, and we'll try it again, retune back to our frequency and as you can see that's the best we can get so don't be afraid <clears throat> to swap the coils we'll flip this one over it'll be the same as previously because the coils are working but if you stack these coils together they have to be turned because the the orientation is always like in a circular motion so to take it off of this leg we have to turn it and set it on top of this leg so now we we'll go back to the scope and retune it and so forth. So, as you can see, different orientations of the coils on the core will give you a different output voltage at the cell and resonance. So, I hope that helps helps a lot of you guys out there on how to find resonance and hopefully that explains a little bit. Now in this setup, uh, this is my gated frequency generator. It's turned off, so this is just pretty much the primary frequency. If I turn it on and adjust it, Um, and then that's what we get. You know, I can play with the gating. I can uh, fine tune the primary. But you can see this would be the on pulses, and then the straight line is your gating turning everything off. So, so that's pretty much what we got. All right. Hopefully that clears some things up for you guys. Again, that was only pushing five volts into the setup, less than 300 milliamps. Alright, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.